when doing a pull-up, if you've ever seen like a drawing of somebody or maybe like the perfect picture of somebody doing a pull-up, things look really symmetrical. And that's kind of the goal, right? I get great lat recruitment. I get great upper back recruitment. I feel it in my arms helping me do this pull-up. You know, you get the whole shebang. When people mess it up, it looks different from a couple different angles. So we're gonna kind of talk about a couple different angles. First one is uh, a back view. If I stand behind you while you're doing this pull up, what does it look like? And the biggest thing you're gonna notice is one shoulder is elevated more than the other one. And that just coincides with not only, you know, it's not just an elevation, it's also this shoulder coming forward a little bit. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, other stuff that you might be able to see, if you try to draw a line down the middle of the upper back, it might be not quite vertical, it might be kind of cockeyed, tilting to one direction. Um, or it may even be C-like. It'll probably be just more like a you know leaning tower of Pisa, not really a uh, true curve or a soft C. And then the other thing kind of going off of that that you might see is when I take that line down, I might see my legs try to correct and they're gonna bend the other way. That's, you know, that's the biggest stuff that you're viewing from behind. Other things you might notice is just like a general flappiness of the lower body, like it's not securing anything. And you can tell that the abs are just not helping out. Um, and, you know, you want that <laughs> during your pull up. So make sure you're being kind of active in that abdominal region. Now, if we turn to the side and I watch you do your pull up from the side, the biggest thing I'm going to notice, I, you know, if the let's say we got one shoulder elevated, the other one is depressed. If you are on the depressed shoulder side, you might not notice much. But if you're on the elevated shoulder side, you might notice not only like it looks like they're kind of shrugging up even from the side, even though that's not maybe the best view to see it. Um, you might just not see as much of their neck. Um, but the other thing is you'll notice that that shoulder just starts kind of tilting forward a little bit. It's it's rounding forward. Um, and, and that's like that's the biggest indication that this is a I don't want to skip ahead too much, but there's going to be multiple steps that we need to take to fix this problem. Uh, so that's what it looks like. And just as a little bonus in this exercise, uh, this video here, what are you going to feel if you're the one doing it? Well, uh, that elevated shoulder, you're going to feel that upper trap working for sure. Uh, on that side as well, very common at least, people feel the um, posterior shoulder muscles, the rotator cuff muscles, or even the, the posterior deltoid muscles. And we're going to talk a little bit more about why I think that is and why, you know, what's going on anatomically that would cause that stuff to pull on. But they're just trying to pick up some of the load. Um, generally, you're not feeling it much in your lats and you're not feeling it at all in your upper back. And if you are, you're only feel, feeling it on one side and it might actually be the elevated side. It might not be the depressed side. Huh, because what does it look like? We're going to give you some more. The depressed side is probably tilted forward even more than the other side. And that is maybe a good teaser into what is coming next.